Good morning, folks. Off the California coastline, again, we see this grid line pattern that the experts claim is just regular ship trails, just like regular airplane contrails. I believe that hurricane is set to swing north and collide into that mess. We had a five-pointer south of Australia, moderate tremors near the North Pole. Fourth gamma ray burst in three days. This one came from near the constellation Phoenix. You might remember this comet that I mistakenly thought was doomed to plunge into fire. Well, she came reasonably close to the sun, but now she is headed up, out, and away. During yesterday's news, the first tiny CME was putting pressure on Earth, and then... Particle bombardment. After about two to four hours, they were calling this a weak impact. Well, you can see the impact strength was still building this morning. Remember, this flare lasted hours. We spent 30 minutes at X-Class. The strong part of the CME just compressed our magnetosphere a few hours ago. You can see the geomagnetic data show a building disturbance. Induction magnetometer strong at the baseline resonance. Solar plasma have been breaking past our shield for hours on end, and we just got our storm level kicked up a notch. The massive active region is saying goodbye, turning away on the southeastern limb. On the north center of the sun is a tiny coronal hole, and you can see a bigger coronal hole turning in down here. Coinciding with the space weather is significant planetary positioning. Today, the moon is cutting through Jupiter and Venus conjoined in the morning sky. Tomorrow sees her move on towards the sun. She conjoins July 19th in a new moon, and we also approach a geocentric opposition, Mars and Uranus on the opposite sides of Earth, same day. Earthquake watch is in effect today. This next week has got me slightly nervous. That's the news, folks. Be safe.